Hi, I'm Richard with Swim Machine Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, find sewing machine parts that you need to buy and some different tricks to uh, finding parts for a better price. Um, so if you're looking for parts and you're not sure where to look or anything else, um, depending on the parts, I normally like to uh, try to get a part number if I can. Um, so there's a couple different ways to do that. There's uh, you can get your you can get a parts manual and search. Uh, you can get a parts manual and find the part that you want on the parts manual, and then uh, get that part number and search on Google for it, or search one of several several different sites for it. Um, or there is also a site that I use that is really great for research. Um, and you can buy off that site as well. Sometimes, uh, they, that site doesn't have the parts in stock. Uh, they're also a little bit more expensive and normally take a little bit longer to get. Normally at least four days, um, and sometimes as long as two weeks. So, uh, the, normally it's four to seven days most of the time, but they are on the more expensive side and we'll go over that. But the first thing that I want to talk about is getting a parts manual. So, uh, when looking for a parts manual, I highly suggest that you use two different browsers. Um, <clears throat> and so I use, I personally use, uh, Google Chrome and then a browser called Brave. And the reason that I suggest using two different browsers is because you will get different results for, with different browsers. Just as long as you use two different browsers so you get better results. So um, with that, I'm going to show you. I've already got some of this done. And I'm going to show you the, the results of it. So um, we're going to use uh, Brother NV6700D 6, Parts Manual. Um, and so when you're looking, you know, you can put this in two different browsers and search for it. And then you want to really read each, each result that you get. So this is, uh, this is just, uh, support, right? Uh, this is a brother Quattro 2. It's the same machine, uh, sewing parts online. And, uh, it looks like it's just a, just an instruction manual. Um, support brother manuals. You, normally, normally, especially with home machines, not so much with commercial industrial machines, but with home machines, normally, uh, you're the manufacturer. You're not going to get a parts manual from them. Um, here's another one right here. Uh, brother Quattro 2 NV6700D 6, free digital manual. Uh, view parts and accessories, blah, blah, blah. And it's from whatever. I can't, a sewing back place. So I'm going to open this up in a, another window. I'm going to look at it. All right. So, um, it doesn't, it doesn't really give me anything, right? That's not what I'm looking for. So that's an instruction manual and stuff like that. So not what I'm looking for. All right. Um, sewingmachine.com. All right. Uh, sewing machine parts book, page one of two. So let's check that out. It doesn't really tell me much about it, but it does say parts. So I'll open it up in a different man window. I come over here, sewingmachine.com, and here is a bunch of what looks like manuals. So I'm going to, this is a brother embroidery. Let's see if they have the, uh, NV 6500. Um, not here they don't, but here we go. NV 6700 right here. And so I click that and there it is there. That looks like my parts manual. Yes, it is. Um, and so if you want to download this, you can 
click right here and download it. I've already got this manual, so I don't need to. Um, I'm going to leave it open because we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to find some of these parts. Uh, but I want to, before we do that, I want to show you something else. Um, I'm not going to click on this. Uh, the silk pin cushion. I have used this. This is a paid site. Okay. Um, and they're also kind of expensive. So you can get manuals from here. Uh, manuals lib. That is a really good site to get manuals. Um, this is a user's manual though, as it, as it states. Univer UniversalSewing.com. They have a ton of, uh, manuals there, but as you can see here, uh, it doesn't have the NV6700. 6, so that's probably not going to be there. Service Manuals Net. This is a really good site. Again, this is a paid site. Um, looks like they probably have the manual. In fact, let me, let's just open it up and go look. But this is a paid site. I have bought manuals from them. Uh, they are, they are a good site. Um, I do suggest that you try to find it for free first. Um, so this is actually, there's a service manual for the NV1E. And then two different parts lists for the 6700D, which may sound weird to you, but um, machine machine manufacturers often make machines. The machines that they make in the beginning of the year, a lot of times, are somewhat different than the machines that are made at the end of the year. The parts will be different, or uh, just the way it's put together will be different. So that's really not real weird. I know you don't see this a lot, but that is the way it is. A lot of times they will put all the parts in one manual. <clears throat> I have no idea what this is. I've never seen this before. Uh, service manual, user guides, blah, blah, blah. This is probably not something that you want to click on. Uh, I'm going to open it just so we can look in here. Okay, so what this is, this is like a, not a blog, but where pe someone's asking to find the manual, 99.9% um, .9 of the time, this is not going to get you anywhere. And I'm going to show you, you this is you don't want to do this, all right? So I'm not going to do download. Definitely, until you know what you're, you're looking at, do not do download. I'm going to open this up in another browser, okay? Yeah, you see this? Do not do this. Don't do this. You have no idea what this is, what you're doing what you're loading or anything else so this is more like kind of like a spam thing and it could be a virus or anything else do not do this okay and then there's another one down here let's look at it okay same thing so don't this kind of stuff stay away from it all right if, if it's leading you down a hole down a rabbit hole or on a goose chase walk away from it Okay, um, hope that helps you understand that. And I've, I've actually got quite a few different sites that I use for finding manuals, and um, I will post them. I will post them on, on one of my pages, and there will be a link up here in the right-hand corner uh, that you can, you can click on and find, and if by chance you have a problem getting to this link then you can check down in the in the description I will have that link down in the description as well um, now I'm going to move over to this other browser because I've got everything that I want over there so, uh, we're, I'm going to show you how to search the parts now um, if you have any questions leave it in the comments let me know and I'll get I will get to your questions just as quick as I can um, so this is that manual for the 6700 and I've got three main places that I look for parts for. Now I told you about, obviously we talked about the parts manual for getting, for getting the part numbers. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. Okay. So let's say that you need the foot. Okay. So you, uh, this is the electric parts main motor unit, okay, or the foot pedal should I say. Here's the foot pedal, 
this is the motor, the fan, uh, motor belt, blah, blah, blah. You're basically just kind of looking at pictures, trying to identify the part that you need. And it, it's very important to understand um, every, every manual is different. Um, some of them are more detailed, some of them not so much. Most of the time you'll have the parts breakdown and then the next page will be all of the um, everything that is on the first page. And so you notice it says six electric parts breakdown main motor unit. Come down here and you've got the same thing. And you've got numbers associated with each one. And you've got the same thing here. And I want to point something out real quick you see this uh, dotted line okay so each one of these these this is a parts breakdown of this part and everyone that has a number you can look that up but the dotted line means that this is probably sold as a entire unit and number six is the number that is that goes along with it um, so you can look up each individual part so seven and eight um nine for the screws or just the whole thing so if i go to six okay that's the power supply unit and we said seven insulated cover b nine tap tight bind that m three by twelve that's that's those screws all right, so it breaks it down, but uh, uh, number six is the power unit. Now, if you notice, there's two different two different ones here. Like I told you, sometimes they have uh, one model will have different parts in it. Okay, so this is there's two different supply power supply units that they put in this machine, and that's for you to figure out which one is in your machine okay so normally something like this I know this is not something that you would probably do unless you work on a lot of machines uh, you would have to find you'd have to open this up and figure out which one this was and a lot of times you'll have already found the part number on that but I'm just trying to help you understand it a little bit better anyway so let's go with the foot which is number 33 Okay, and right here it's the last one, foot controller, and right here is the part number. It, that on this it calls it the code, but this is the part number. Okay, uh, now this is the part number that you would be using. Um, I want to show you another way that you can find uh, parts and part numbers. Okay, so. A good site to do research is Sewing Parts Online. They're, it's a great site. Uh, it's the only one that I know that um, has as much information on it and makes um, makes shopping and and uh, part research easy. So you would come over here to Machine Parts. You would click on the brand. Okay, and so we're looking at a brother. NV6700 click on that and then down here are all the different all of the different uh, models but as you saw there's another search bar so this is the main search bar this is the search bar for your model number so I'm going to put NV in V and you notice as I do this it narrows the search right um, now we'll put 6700 6700 and here it is uh, sometimes you'll have multiple different machines sometimes it goes all the way down to one like this click on it click on the right machine and this gives you all the parts that fits this machine now like I told you okay there's uh, some of these machines have different it's made differently in the beginning of the year than it is a different than the end of the year. So uh, there may be several different parts that fit different machines or several different parts that fit both all the machines. Um, 
So it can be a little confusing sometimes. Uh, you, you just have to figure that out. Um, anyway, so let's say we were talking about the foot pedal, right? So let's find the foot pedal on here. Uh, normally it has a foot pedal. Okay. And there it is right there. Here's a the foot pedal. So it looks like the foot pedal for this is 89.95. And here is the part number for it. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to open it up. And I'm, I'm going to look at a couple of things here. Number one, it says currently out of stock. Place your order to be next in line when we restock. Uh, so this, this could be, uh, this is probably at least a week. Could be several weeks. Um, you, I, I recommend that you call them and find out and see what they say. Sometimes they can give you an answer. Sometimes they can't. Um, down here, it's going to tell you the machines that they will guarantee that it fits. And sometimes on parts right down here, it will say something like, uh, other part numbers. Uh, which means that there are more, there's more than one part number associated with this foot pedal. And you can, uh, you can do research using all of those part numbers. Now, so this site currently doesn't have it in stock and it's 89.95. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it. Okay. Copy. And we're going to go over to Amazon. All right. And I'm going to paste it in Amazon. Paste. And search. <laughs> okay. And so I've got two of them that popped up, but is it the right one? So my part number is 802-8051. Or XC802-8051. 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 So I've got two of them. Uh, sometimes you can, on Amazon you can get them for a lot cheaper. Sometimes you can't, right? So uh, I've got one for eighty nine fifty and one for eighty five dollars. Here's a little bit of what I'm looking for. Let's uh, click on it. Number one, I want to read this and see what it says uh, in in this small description here, and it gives me the part number. It also tells me that. It will fit the 6700D. Uh, my main concern is the part number, but if it tells me this, that's even better. Next, I want to know when I'm going to get it. Okay, no uh, delivery November 4th to 12th, um, and it's a free delivery. Now, I personally have Prime, as you can see right here, so. I'm always looking to see if uh, I'm going to get prime prime shipping on this, and I'm not. Now, it just so happens this particular supplier, I have, I, I've used this particular supplier, Q-Tech Sewing Supplies, quite a bit. And they are a great supplier, uh, but they're not prime. That being said, um, the delivery date's really not that bad. Today is... Uh, Today is October 28th, so, um, and with these people, I've got this window here from my experience with this particular company, I'll get it, if I were to order, I'd get it closer to the 4th or the 5th. Um, now, let's, uh, another place that I look is I check on eBay, um, and you may not, in fact, I already done a check on it, you can see this here, um, you may be a little hesitant about eBay, and I will tell you right now, I order a lot of parts off eBay. I have my regular suppliers where I get my parts for wholesale prices. That being said, I can't get all of my parts uh, at wholesale. I Not all my suppliers have all the parts that I need all the time. I work on most any machine, older machines, newer machines, all kinds of machines, uh, industrial, commercial, so on and so forth. So... Um, I don't have suppliers that have any parts I'm looking for. So when I'm looking for, if, if I'm looking for parts that I can't find, usually on older machines, then I have to resort to doing this. Um, and as you can see, I have just put the part number up here and searched it. 
and you can see what comes up. Now, um, just so you know, if you feel uncomfortable about it, I have had a couple of uh, sellers on here uh, not ship the products. Uh, and I know just it's been my experience. The ones that done that were Chinese. Uh, I've ordered two or three times from China and a few of those times I didn't get my products and they were actually hundreds of dollars. I made a complaint or opened a ticket with eBay and within just a few days I got my money back. They took care of it. I, I wanted my product so it kind of sucked I didn't get my product but eBay took care of me and I didn't use PayPal I just used my regular credit card. Um, eBay will take care of you if you're if you have any concerns about that so just letting you know that anyway here is what I'm looking for on eBay so I click on here <laughs> okay I want to know number one who am I buying it from so this is called no so what is their feedback 98.9% .9 positive feedback where is it coming from okay so it's coming from Salem, Oregon, here in the United States. And when am I going to get it? Uh, I get it by Tuesday, November 2nd. Okay. All this is good information. And uh, from my experience, if it says this is the date that you're going to get it by, that's normally the date you're going to get it by. So, and it's $89. Right here uh, on this one, it says free three-day shipping. Um, this one here. You need, it's $89.50 and you're going to pay $350 shipping. Um, again, $89.50 free three day shipping. So, watching, watching all this is very, you, I mean, reading all this, you really need to read this and understand what it says um, and pay close attention to it. Let's see, let me see if I can find. <laughs> okay, NG So. Uh, November 2nd, Salem, Oregon, same place. I want to, a lot of these, if it's from China, it will say China right here. My, from my personal experience, you know, especially with the way, how crazy things are right now, I just, I don't buy from China. I buy from, uh, sellers within the U.S. Number one, I prefer to do business with people in my own country. Number two, um, usually when it's from China, you're looking at it one to two months getting it. That's why you need to really check the dates. Um, and I'm not seeing anything here. Maybe we can find something on another product, but really pay attention to that. So let's go over here. Let's find another product. Okay. So let's say that you're looking for an embroidery hoop. All right. So this is a seven inch. EF-75 for $85. Um, now, whereas the foot pedal was not in stock, this one is in stock, so you could go ahead and order it. Um, and it's $85. Bucks. So I'm going, let, let's go down here. It's going to tell you uh, the different machines that it fits. Uh, now, sometimes you'll get this hoop subparts. So you can look them up. You can just copy these numbers and paste them up here and it'll take you straight to it. Remember I told you about on the part numbers. So this, these are alternate part numbers right here for this product. All right. So that just helps you with your searches. Um, now I'm going to, I'm just going to copy this part number right here. Or actually I can do it right here. Either way. And we're going to take it over here to Amazon. <coughs> and we'll put it in. Maybe. All right. And I don't want any of this. I just want that part number. So hit enter. And here we go. So this is a ad up here, even though it doesn't look like it. It is, it is an ad. There you go, sponsored. Um, so here's what you're looking for, and this is a this is a Wybacore brand. This is a Honey Soul brand, and um, 
I don't know what brand this is. Anyway, you can see here, uh, SA439 EF75. And over here, it doesn't say it. And we're going to click on these and we're going to look at them. Um, but I'll remember the, the alternate part numbers, SA439. Okay. So SA439. So let's, uh, let's just check this out. This one's prime. This one's prime. And again, that's important to me because I have prime. Um, if you order much off of Amazon, I would highly recommend getting prime. It really helps. Um, by the way, if you see something like this on something, this is a coupon and I'm going to click on this. This is not what we're getting, but I want to show you how this works. Um, if you want to save another 5%, you just, well, you click on this and that will activate that coupon and then it's activated. You don't ever have to cl click on it again uh, on your account. It will be activated. So let's, uh, let's go back. <laughs> okay. So we're going to open this and actually I'm going to open another, another link so I don't have to keep going back and forth like that. And I want you to take a look here, first of all. Well, let's start over here. So, free delivery, November 16th to December 6th. I told you that this is October 28th right now. Isn't that right? What I said, 28th, 29th, 28th. So, that's a ways out. It's going to be a while before I get this, if I order this. Um, does it tell me where this is from? It could be more than likely it's uh out of country so with that name i'm going to assume that it's from china again you know this uh amazon's a little bit better for ordering stuff but i just i, I prefer to do business with people in country as much as possible and i really don't want to wait this long now understanding that it is a great price and I've got some other options right here and you can click on each one of them okay and check them out and as you see as I hover over them you see what's what it shows so four and one this is uh, four different ones and let's let's just click on that and see what it tells me um, so I can get this by Saturday October 30th and it looks like I'm going to get four of them for the price of one is what I'm thinking. I'd have to do a little bit more research and read on it a little bit more. I'm not going to do that. Um, and then this is different sizes, right? Um, now, I'm going to close this out. And we're going to go over here. Honey, so large embroidery, five by seven, blah, blah, blah. And this one is prime. And like I said, uh, since I have Prime, it's pretty important to me. It's only $18.90. And so you see how much cheaper this is, right, than over on Sewing Parts Online. Um, and it gives me a lot of information about it. So I'm feeling really good about buying it. It has uh, both part numbers on it. And it also tells me right here that it fits the machine that I'm looking for. Um, you can, if you scroll down here to this, um, usually, 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 they will give you a part number down here. It's usually like right in this area. Uh, the seller didn't, didn't fill it out on this one, uh, but they did put the part number up here, okay? And if for some reason you get it and it's not right or whatever, you know, Amazon will take care of you on it. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, now let's go, let's go back and check the other one. <laughs> okay, so there is one more. And so there was 1790, 1890, and then there is one for 1999. And it's actually Amazon's choice. It's also Prime. Uh, there was this one here. And you can see it says, get it through November 4th, blah, blah, blah. 
It has it. It has the same number. I could check it. I'm not going to, but we will look at this one here. Um, so again, it gives you the information. It gives you the part number, both of them, both of the part numbers right there. Um, it doesn't tell me that it will fit my machine that I'm looking for, but that part number, I know that it will fit the, fit the, uh, the machine that I, that I'm looking, that I'm wanting to fit. I can have it by November 5th. And like I said, it's prime. Uh, it's sold by thread and stitch. Now let's go down here. Uh, yeah, they too did not put the, well, item model number. So this is a, it's a, uh, uh, it's not, it's not from Brother or Baby Lock. It's uh, another company that's making it, but, uh, it will fit. So, um, I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions on how to use this, let me know on how to do searches on Amazon. Um, uh, I always make sure that I'm on all and not just in any one depart any single department because uh, I want to search all of Amazon. Most of the stuff that you search for machines and machine parts is in uh, arts and crafts and stuff, but it depends on how a seller lists it. So now let's go over to eBay and we're going to input this into eBay. Okay. Um, put that part number in there search and they don't have it at all uh, sometimes sometimes you can find the parts like like the foot pedal and a lot of times you can find them for a lot cheaper uh, but not always but the these are the three main sites if I if I can't get parts from my suppliers these are the three main sites I look at I look at Amazon eBay and sewing parts online. Honestly, sewing parts online is like the last place I order it from because the other two usually are usually I can usually get it cheaper either on Amazon or eBay and get it quicker. Um, but if you're going to use sewing parts online, always look to see if they have a sale. And when you're uh, when you're buying it, you know, put this code in. If you don't put the code in, you won't get the you won't you won't get the savings, uh, fifteen percent on eighty five bucks. That's uh, going to be a nice little savings. Um, and I will tell you anything. I think it's over seventy five dollars on sewing parts online. They will ship free. Um, if it's under seventy five dollars, you will pay shipping on it. Um, and and it says right here free shipping. So, but understand that. Um, if you have multiple items that are less than $75, but all of them together add up to $75, then you will get free shipping. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Put it down in the comments, and I will get to you just as quick as I can. And uh, you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Um, I've, got, I've got several different... Uh, sites that I get manuals from and I, I think I already said it I'm going to have all those sites uh, on a page and so up here in the right hand corner you can click on the link or if you have a problem finding the link you can look down in the description and get that link um, and just go directly to those sites and do uh, search for the manuals if you're looking for a manual if you need help finding parts uh, comment below the make and model of your machine, the part that you're looking for, and if you can find it, the part number. If not, then I'll do some research and see if I can find it. Um, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and I'll help you find those parts. Thank you, and y'all have a great day.